This second season starts when Mo Jiaying receives a public apology from Mu Zhiyun after Mo Fan wins the battle. Later, as Mo Fan is getting ready to enter the underground Holy Spring, Tang Yue gives him a hand's worth of fire bombardment cards while they are out shopping. These cards would allow an intermediate fire mage who has just broken through to cast magic, immediately without having the cultivation to handle the new 42 extra stars. The principal, Mu Zhiyun, and his city hunting squad leader welcome him and escort him into the underground Holy Spring. At the same time, we see a UHS guard conversing with scientists, examining the fluids consumed by the developing one-eyed wolf from the previous chapter. A soldier patrolling outside the city boundaries is seen at the same moment. They are all murdered at once, but two light mages can fire a flame in time, saving the lives of the troops. When the troops in the fortress notice this, they ask to increase the alert level to orange, but Zhang Kong disregards the procedure and instantly issues the blood red alert. Monsters started appearing in the town as the blood red alert was being issued, which called widespread terror. Mo Fan is evacuating with the Holy Spring when the monsters approached it, stored in a bigger bottle on the inside bottle. Mo Fan is given control under the Holy Spring when it is discovered that the Black Vatican is responsible for the attack since he blends in better than the military and the underground Holy Spring guards. When Mo Fan arrives back at the school, it is under siege and the professors and students still alive are organizing an expedition to go to the citadel outside of the town. The survivors split into two groups with the best kids from the school and teachers serving as the lead group, and the remaining pupils trailing behind by a kilometre while being protected by the instructors from the school. They instantly lose one of the wind wizards sent to Recon, and the entire gang realises it has become true. The military summoner confronts them as they get to the woodland in front of the stronghold and confesses that he is a member of the Black Vatican. Mo Fan is ordered to hand over the UHS, but instead he feeds it to his necklace. The squad loses another member when Zhang Jiahu's girlfriend is killed in a fight that leads to Mu Bai murdering the summoner. Zhang Kong apologizes when told that Mo Fan drank from the already drying underground holy spring after Mo Fan confronts him about how this could have happened. Kong then loses his cool. In reality, it was absorbed by the little loach. Kong subsequently confronts the commander leveled wing wolf who is in charge of the monster onslaught as he heads to the front lines with his troops. After searching the citadel for his family, Mo Fan discovers his father. When he discovered that his sister's high school served as the monster's starting place, he decided to save his sister. When Mo Fan discovers her in the local mall's freezer, Yu Ang and large group of black monsters surround him, forcing Mo Fan to flee. He can break through into mid-tier fire and use one of his fire cars to destroy all black monsters after seeing Jing Jia nearly freeze to death on the surveillance cameras. This leads Zhu Yang to flee. He saves his sister and takes possession of a motorcycle to help the city hunting squad stop the issue by stopping the opening into the city. All the residents are given sanctuary in other cities and it is thought impossible to restore the city of Bo. The Mo family chooses Shanghai since it is the location of Pearl Magic University, the second best university in the nation. Mo Fan makes fun of his ignorance of magic and his belief in technology as they travel to disguise the fact that he was born in a world of technology and not one of magic. In the process, he insulted a local Pearl University magical historian. Except for Shadow, Curse and summoning mages, Jia Xing could calm him down and Mo Fan persuaded him that admission to the institution was nearly impossible. Mo Fan must wait a whole year before he can enroll in college. It was revealed to him since kids from Bo had their education pushed back by a year. He discovers the Holy Spring has enhanced his loach. With novice tier cultivation being improved by a factor of 4 and mid tier cultivation by a factor of 2.5, this improvement occurs when he breaks through into mid tier lightning. Tang Yue subsequently contacts him and asks him for assistance in an issue in return for additional fire and lightning cards. Mo Fan is informed by Tang Yue that she was pursuing a notorious criminal who amuses himself by using cursed magic to murder people's souls and that she could use some support. They hear a group of hunters discussing how one of them said that a fire spirit species could only bring on this heated state as they made their way to the location of the ambush via some hot and dried up fields. 
When Tang Yue learns this, she uses shadow magic to conceal herself and Mo Fan so that they can view the spirit species in a neighboring area. But another hunting party is already there. When a fight breaks out, Mo Fan witnesses both sides barrage each other with low level magic to cover up the mid level spells they're throwing at each other. Mo Fan is impressed by their talent and cooperation. The criminal appeared after one side was defeated and set off his trap, a mid tier curse that murdered the souls of the remaining hunting squad. Mo Fan is instructed to remain seated and hidden by Tang Yue. Tang Yue emerges from the concealment and approaches the criminal, but immediately falls to her knees, and the criminal breaks out laughing, claiming that this trap was set for her, not the hunters. Tang Yue managed to discharge mid-tier fire magic after disclosing that the criminal had slipped him an aphrodisiac while they were sat at the same dinner the night before. Still, it only had the effects of breaking the criminal's armor, causing Tang Yue to fall once again. The criminal blocks Mo Fan's mid-tier fire magic with a water barrier, which the latter counters with mid-tier lightning, instantly murdering the offender. Tang Yue tells Mo Fan to absorb the fire species while she attempts to gather herself. Mo Fan goes to the headquarters of the magic organization to awaken his next elements, where he wakes up the shadow element and the summoning element. He plans to join the university using the summoning element and preserve darkness as a trump card. On the day of his entrance exam, he must demonstrate the proficiency of his monster against a potential earth magic student, Luo Song. Mo Fan takes advantage of the situation by his first summoning, a summoning wolf, impressing the judges. The earth mage is outmatched and attempts to use mid-tier ice magic, which causes Mo Fan to use mid-tier lightning magic. Dean Zhao steps in and accepts both students' admissions to the institution. As a first year student, Mo Fan is instructed that they must live on campus and is then assigned to an apartment with a new acquaintance named Zhao Man Yan. Each year, the university distributes funds to each functional department to serve its students. Every year, a tournament among first year students of Pearl Magic is organized. Students from the summoning department must be able to defeat 100 students from all other departments combined. Mo Fan is one of seven summoning majors who can compete against more than a thousand first year students from the other elemental departments. The summoning department will lose all of its resources, which they will split amongst themselves if the other departments can eliminate all of the summoning majors before eliminating 100 total pupils. Due to the scarcity of summoning majors, this is a challenging undertaking. Nonetheless, most first year students can only cast novice tier magic. Servant level beasts significantly outmatch them, yet they may form teams and go to war together. Due to prior wounds he received in the summoning plane, Mo Fan's summoned beast, the Dark Wolf, is presently dozing off. Mo Fan decides to go last, since he feels he must employ lightning magic. To stop Mo Fan from collecting university resources throughout the following semester, Luo Song, who has a grudge towards Mo Fan, decides to utilize his mid tier magic to wither down the first six summoning mages. He is one of the few mid tier mages that can quickly eliminate servant level creatures. Only 50 pupils had been beaten when he defeated all six summoning wizards, implying that Mo Fan had to fight 50 students on his own. Fortunately, his Dark Wolf had awakened and become considerably stronger. With the aid of the Dark Wolf's assault and Mo Fan's lightning magic, the other pupils are starting to be eliminated. Mo Fan easily surpasses expectations thanks to the mid-tier lightning and magic of Mighty Dark Wolf. He then questions Director Zhao about why the summoning department seemed to have no benefits, danger or reward. Director Zhao then discloses to everyone an old law that the summoning department will take all the resources allotted to each other department if they can beat 200 pupils. Nobody believes Mo Fan until he has reached 179. Despite his confident declaration that he would succeed, Mo Fan defeats a further four teams of five until just one competitor is left. When Mu Nu Zhao enters the stage, she displays the wind and earth elements from the middle tier. She has the upper hand and believes that she has triumphed by locking Mo Fan in the forest dungeon. But he uses shadow magic to escape, forcing her to concede. After winning, Mo Fan is revered by the summoning department while being despised by the other students. Mo Fan, however, 
is unconcerned since he stands to gain a significant amount of cash as well as the bloody boots, the awakening blood, a week in the three-step pagoda and other prizes. Please comment below if you would like me to review the third season. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed it and turn on the notification bell so you never miss out on another video. Until next time, guys, take care.